Today's video is a top 10 list for tank mates for a Firemouth Cichlid. I currently have a male Firemouth in my 75 gallon aquarium behind me here that's located in my high school biology classroom. Sometimes finding tank mates for a Firemouth can be a bit tricky, so hopefully this list helps. Let's dive right in. Before we get into the list, just a quick overview on the Firemouth Cichlid. They are mid-sized Central American Cichlids with awesome red and gray coloration. They are mostly considered to be semi-aggressive and I've seen the full range of aggression keeping them. Sometimes they'll hide out and say to themselves, or sometimes they'll be the tank boss like mine here. We'd recommend a minimum of 55 gallons if you're keeping fire mouse with tank mates, and the larger the tank, the better. As always, we recommend having a backup plan, whether it's another tank, a local fish store, or a friend in the hobby that could take the fire mouth if you run into too much aggression. So my brother Troy is gonna join in on the video, Let's get to the list. Coming in at number 10 is one of my favorite cichlids, and that is the Electric Blue Acara. The Electric Blue Acara is an amazing South American cichlid, and it truly is a unique cichlid due to its bright blue coloration. That color isn't commonly found in American cichlid tanks, so it really gives a pop of something different in your aquarium. When you pair Electric Blue Acaras with Fire Mouse, for instance, there's an even better color contrast to the dark gray and the reds. I've found electric blue cars to be tough enough to go with many Central American cichlids. Their ideal setup would be with more peaceful South American cichlids, but I think they could also thrive with some of your other Central Americans like fire mouse, convicts, and jack nipsies. They are one of my all-time favorite cichlids, and I love pairing them with a the fire mouth. Coming in at number nine on the list is the Salvini cichlid. The Salvini is one of the most beautiful Central American cichlids in the hobby with bright yellow, blues, and reds. It's undeniably beautiful, but also one of the more aggressive cichlids for its size. Topping out around the same length as the fire mouth, Salvinis can sometimes be too aggressive, which is why they're low on the list. But if you have a large enough tank, over 75 gallons for instance, it will usually work out okay. I did have to rehome my female Salvini a while back, so definitely have a backup plan if you go this route. But with the right tank size and setup, this mix would be one of the best options out there. The mix of colors between a Salvini and a Firemouth would make for an impressive cichlid tank. Coming in at number eight on the list is Silver Dollars. One way to mitigate some aggression issues like you might find with a Salvini or other cichlids is by adding dither fish to the tank. Silver Dollars are a great choice in this instance. Getting a small school of Silver Dollars can provide a lot of activity in the tank as they swim back and forth. This takes the attention away from the cichlids fighting constantly. All those silver dollars are from South America. They can do just fine in the same water parameters as fire mouths. My group of silver dollars did really well with my aggressive fire mouth for a while now, and it's been a good match, especially if you have enough swimming space for them. Another great tank mate option for the fire mouth is just the Pleco. Plecos will usually stick to themselves, they'll clean your tank some, and just give you an extra dimension to your cichlid tank. One of my favorites is the bristlenose plecos and many of your more exotic types that stay smaller. Many of these will do just fine with a fire mouth long term. I really like the king tiger and the leopard frog plecos. I would be careful getting some of your larger types like the common plecos as they can be tank busters with that massive size, but there are plenty of other options that don't get as big and they can be a great choice alongside your fire mouth. Another great tank mate option that's a non-cichlid is some of your larger tetra species. A few that I really like with a fire mouth include the Bleeding Heart Tetra, the Colombian Tetra, the Buenos Aires Tetra, or even the Congo Tetra. These will provide more activity in your tank, swimming around in loose schools, and acting as a great dither fish, which makes cichlids come out and feel more comfortable in the tank, hiding much less often. I would stay away from some of your smaller species like the Neon or the Cardinal Tetra, as those are too small and will become a meal for the fire mouth eventually. As long as you stick to the medium to larger species of Tetra, you could add that unique element to your tank. Coming at number five on the list is the Severum Cichlid. So normally Troy would take this one since it's his favorite cichlid, but since I have one in my 75 gallon with my fire mouth, I thought I should take it. This is a relatively rare mouth brooding Severum and it's held its own with this fire mouth. You can obviously get more colorful variations of Severums as well, like the Gold, Turquoise, or Red Shoulder Severum. All of these should be just fine with a Fire Mouth as long as you have a 75 gallon minimum tank size. The Severum would likely be even higher on the list, 
but they are from South America, not Central. And sometimes people want to keep those separate. And also, Severs require that larger tank long term. But overall, a great tank mate option. One of the most underrated cichlids in the hobby today is the Nicaraguan cichlid. The females especially get great coloration with blue, yellow, and reds throughout their body. They are Central American cichlids, so they have the same tank setup and parameters as your more common Central American cichlids like the Firemouth. They don't get too large either, topping out around 7 or 8 inches in length. And their temperament is similar as well, making them a great tank mate option for your fire mouse, your jack Dempsey's, or your convicts. If you're looking for something a little more rare, but are also sticking to that Central American theme, try out the Nicaraguan cichlid. On a similar note, the rainbow cichlid is one of the most underappreciated fish in the hobby today. The rainbow stays relatively small at around 5 to 6 inches, and they are another Central American cichlid. If I had to choose a core group of smaller Central American cichlids together, I would pick the rainbow, the Nicaraguan, the convict, the Jack Dempsey, and the Firemouth as a group. That would be a great mix of colors, similar tank requirements, temperaments, and sizes. Out of those cichlids, I would say the rainbow is typically on the more peaceful end, but they can also hold their own in most cases. It's a great choice. Coming in at number two on the list is the Convict Cichlid. So the Convict makes a great tank mate for a variety of reasons. First, it's a Central American Cichlid, so it shares similar tank setup and parameters as the Firemouth. It also stays on the smaller end for a Cichlid, so you don't need a massive tank. Convicts can be feisty at times, and they really tend to fight off larger Cichlids. But if you have a tank large enough for territories such as a 55 gallon, the convict and firemouth will usually get along great. Convicts are extremely hardy fish, so they make for a great beginner option. Just be careful if you have more than one, as they will breed all the time and become much more aggressive when doing so. I usually like to keep a solo female, as they'll have a bit more color along their side and won't be as aggressive. And if you have a 75 gallon or larger, your options for tank mates really open up including number one on the list. So coming in at number one on the list is the Jack Dempsey Cichlid. For those of you that have been following along on the channel, I know you're not surprised by this choice as it is my personal favorite fish and probably our most popular fish. It's another Central American Cichlid that has incredible coloration as it matures, especially if you have darker substrate. Just like convicts, Jack Dempsey's can be aggressive, but usually will be just fine with fire mouths. I really like the trio of Jacks, Convicts, and Firemouths because they are all Central American with relatively similar temperaments. If you have a 75 gallon or larger, this mix along with maybe a Salvini, a Rainbow, or a Nicaraguan cichlid would be a great choice. Jack Dempsey's are just awesome cichlids, so anytime you can keep them in a setup, it's a win for me. Try it out, you won't be disappointed. Okay, so now just a couple quick honorable mentions that didn't quite make the list, starting with the Green Terror. The Green Terror is a great South American cichlid. It's one of our favorite all time. It could probably go with the Fire Mouth, even though sometimes Green Terrors can be a bit aggressive. And then another South American cichlid that could possibly go with the Fire Mouth is the Oscar. Oscars are very hit or miss in terms of temperament, but usually they'll be okay with something like a Fire Mouth. And then lastly, another South American option could be any of the Geophagus species. I didn't put them on the list because geos are a little more peaceful usually, and the fire mouth could be a little bit feisty and nip up those geophagus spins, but overall you could probably fit those together, especially something like the geophagus tapahos. And then in general, I would maybe avoid your African cichlids since they do require some different tank setups and tank parameters. Sometimes it can work out just fine, but I usually recommend against it. And then as I mentioned, some of your really small barbs or tetras, I would stay away from that as the fire mouth could be too aggressive or try to eat those guys. Hopefully this list of information is helpful to you as you're adding tank mates with your fire mouth. Fire mouth is an awesome cichlid, and if you get the tank mates right, it'll be even better. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.